verse 8. Okay. Just hold it though. Okay. Hold 8. Go back to Psalm. And read, read that again. Okay. Okay, 20 verse. Uh, Psalm, Psalm. Psalms 50 and 20. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou slanderest thy own mother's son. These things thou hast done, and I keep silent, and I kept silence. Uh -huh. And then so, the Most High kept silent. The Most High, he's basically long suffering. Uh -huh. He is long suffering. So Esau is running up his wicked tab, his tab of wickedness, and the, and the Most High I ain't forgot. The Most High. Uh, got the records, mm -hmm. you know, the Most High has taken all the accounts of all the wickedness that Esau have done in the earth, you know. These Edomites still got shit to pay for going all the way back to uh, Cain, man. Uh, that's right. You know, these Edomites got shit to pay for going back, I mean going back uh, during the time of the Greek Empire. Greek? Roman. Of the Roman Empire. Renaissance period? The Most High is gonna wait till these last these last days to put his hands and, on these Edomites and, and judge they 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 sorry ass bunch of junkies, you know. So they say, okay, since the Most High is allowing us to do this wickedness in the earth, yeah, to fulfill prophecy, He created you to be uh, a vessel of destruction, a vessel of dishonor in the earth. You know, that's your purpose for existence. <laughs> you know, but the Most High is about to judge you right now. You ain't you ain't off the hook. So go ahead, I read. These things thou hast done, and I kept silence. Though thou, though thou thoughtest that thou, I was, thou, thou thought it. okay, thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an as such an one as thyself. But I will reprove thee. Right, now, so they saying that, basically, this is the mindset of the so-called white man really dealing with the elites. They saying, well, shit, I done done all this wickedness in the earth. I done destroyed such a great people. They know we, we are superior to them. The elites know this. They knew this when they had us and uh, put us in hardcore bondage. They knew that we were spiritually stronger, physically stronger, Mentally strong, because they saying that we putting all this fucking hell on these people, destroying them, and they just won't quit. Jake don't fucking quit, man. Jake gonna keep keep pushing and, and living, man. Because we are the sons of, of uh, we're the sons of the Most High, the sons of of Yahweh, the princes of the power. Huh. You put any other nation in the in the under the curses that. Yeah. Uh, Israel under under and still undergoing. Yeah, they they would cease to exist. Huh. Well, we know that wouldn't happen according to the scriptures, but they'd be in they'd be in a way worse state than what we are. You gonna say something? Right. right so they said we've done all this wickedness. We fucked up the, the, the chosen people. That's why they wanna get rid of us. And uh, the Most High ain't doing shit, so I guess he, he probably would us. He down with the, he down for the cause. Huh, that's right. Now, so start, so read the part where it say, but I will reprove you, or I will okay. reprove thee. Go ahead. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Mm -hmm. Thou thought, thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an, as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee. But I will reprove thee. The most high ain't with that with uh with you devils. Satan is, is with you. Huh. You know? Yahweh Yahweh Bashung Yahweh Shah said he gonna reprove you. Go ahead. But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Right. And that's what and that's what's happening. We're we're being uh uh in set order before the eyes of the so-called white man. And they fearing it. It tell you that we just read it in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Yeah. You know? It says that, and they shall, uh, well, let's bring that out again. Let's bring out the first and second verse. 
Yeah, it's a lot of power in the, in, the, in the verses too, man. A lot of uh, it's a lot of good stuff in the verses. Okay, the wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such have as have afflicted him. Right, and that's what we're doing. Uh, in other words, going back to Psalm 50, we're being set in order. We're in set in order, meaning coming back to the law, statutes, yeah, right. and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, rehearsing them righteous acts based upon faith, having faith in the name, and, and uh, coming out here on the highways and byways condemning the so-called white man in his own kingdom. Because you go back, you can just go back to the, just not even go back that far, let's say just go back to the 90s. Yeah. Or the 80s. This is all over, you know, especially down south. Like, the law is a little more slack on the west coast and the east coast. When you come down here to like Texas and, and certain other states, the law gets more more strict. strict. Yeah, girl. You know, <clears throat> you 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 wouldn't have seen you wouldn't have seen this yeah. it, when it wasn't time. Yeah. That's why you only had really uh, Israel up in uh, what New York yeah. and Connecticut yeah. and certain other areas. Yeah. But now this thing is all over the yeah. over the yeah. earth now. Yeah, like the brother said, you wouldn't have caught. The what that, that nigga and when I was I was like 18, 19, James Bird, it still was um um hanging and um dragging niggas down here, man. Yeah, like you said, you wouldn't have caught Jake doing this even just what ten years ago. Yeah, but if, if we really go back like during the time of the uh, you know, us first coming over here, well let's say not first coming over here, but let's just go to the early nineteen hundreds. Yeah. You couldn't a nigga couldn't come out and do this. Yeah. You can't look the white man in the eyes back I say then. this, a man or a, a brother couldn't come out and do this. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you can't even look at the white man in, in his eyes, man. You'll get beat for that. Just, uh, and that's, and that's, and and that's a sign, a major sign that this man, this uh, man's kingdom is going down. Uh, the Edomite's kingdom is going down. When you got your slaves openly telling you, fuck you, you're going into slavery, and, and there's nothing you can do about it. This is coming from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that's what's terrifying them. Because we ain't coming out here saying what we gonna do with our group and with our own might. We telling this fucking devil that he gonna fall by the hand of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that he commanded us to come out here and tell you that. So uh, go ahead. Okay. Read that. And made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled. When they see what? When they see us standing in great boldness before they fucking face. Go ahead, I. They should be troubled with terrible fear. They should be troubled with terrible fear. And they are troubled. I said it earlier. I want that to come out again because there's a lot of power in there. The fuck the elites, the Rothschilds, you know, they're in terrible fear right now. Mm -hmm. You got, you got, in this society, base men, I'm talking about Israelite men, that's waking up to the truth. And in this society, we base, we're the most base elements to this society, to this wicked society, because we're trying to uh, live a righteous life, you know? We're more base than faggots and, and lesbians in this kingdom. That's right. But like you said. Than pedophiles, than freaks. We the most hated. Go ahead, what you got? I was saying, even though, um, even with other, on the other side, um, what, even the low level crack spills too. Because all the thing we're doing is reading the Bible and preaching and teaching. But these, these low level crackers are passed by and they're looking, oh, those those Israelites, and they're looking off. And they're, and they're, they're running away, they're yeah, away. They won't even pass some. Some of them will yeah. actually take another route across the street. Yeah. Just to get to where they're going yeah. because they don't want to pass through here. Yeah. I mean, not just us. I'm talking about all the different all the camps. camps you know? I, I done seen it on, on um, seen it um, when brothers teaching and over here, man. Uh, the, you know teaching. that button, the signal button to uh, walk across the street. They don't have them. Most of these uh, posts don't have them no longer. But 
These either might be looking for that button. <laughs> <He's not gone. laughs> you know, get across the street. Yeah. And nobody, none of us are actually sitting up and threatening. Oh, we're going to kill you, this and that. We don't want to take a direct, um, you know, uh, threat towards none of them. We just out here reading the Bible and teaching. They still scared, man. Right, these, these, inter your entertainers, your movie stars, yeah. uh, uh, rappers, all these people that, that basically got a name in the society uh -huh. and some fame and shit, they all so loud. Esau, they ain't no threat. Esau, I'm not worried about them, but you got average, your regular Israelite men that go to work in they, in they fucking, uh, corporations that's of this, the major corporation. They go to work and they waking up to the fact that the Israelites coming out here saying fuck you uh -huh. to the so-called white yeah. man. And this is and it ain't a fuck a personal fuck. It is personal, but it's coming from your how about shine. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and, and they, they look at it and say, it's strange. We, we paying you, we giving you a place to stay, all this, you still gonna say it's fuck you. Hey, it's strange to them, man. You, you niggas got um we gave y'all school a so-called education on this side. Y'all got y'all. Some of y'all making a little money and all that, but y'all still want to curse that's us out. That's power. That's power, yeah. man. Huh? Still want to curse us out. For the slaves, the yeah. slaves to tell to a slave master, look, you about to be destroyed by the heavenly Father, and we gonna put you in slavery. Huh. Go back to the scripture. Huh. Second verse. Just read that second verse, and then you can stop there okay. and go back to uh, Psalm 50. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, and she'll be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. Right, and I don't want to key in on that first part of that second verse. You know, because okay. us, what we doing out here, we, this is uh, this is going to be uttered for eternity in the kingdom, oh, man. That's right. What, what's going on right now, this time in history that we actually living in, this is going to be, I, I heard on the movie somewhere, I think it was on Troy, what you do no, oh, he was on that movie Gladiator. He said, "What you do now shall uh, is going to determine whether it be echoed throughout eternity." Something like that. I think uh, Maximus told us his uh, his men that before they went out to war. Something like that. I, I got a little bit wrong, but the time we in the history right now, this is we making history. Everything's making history. This is going to be his, this is gonna, for eternity. This is going to be a, the greatest, one of the greatest historical time periods in, uh, in uh, history. You know? Us waking up, the whole nation of Israel went into, uh, uh, well, became Gentiles, and the Most High woke us up, and we prophesied against the greatest kingdom in, in the history. You know? And told them they was going down, and and, and Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai backed us. We did it through the Spirit. And I'm going to say this, Abu Rataza, we are uh, of those men. Come on. Now let's go back to Psalm 50. 50, 50. Okay. It's Psalms. Okay. Okay, um, 20 Hey, this is a great work, man. This is a great work that's, that's happening in the earth. You know, brothers uh, teaching the truth of these scriptures, that's the greatest work being done in the earth right now. And the hardest work too. You know, it, it, ain't, it, don't, it don't take much to be wicked, man. Really, it's easy to be wicked. It's easy as hell to go off, but it's hard to walk that, that uh, straight, narrow. straight and narrow. Go ahead, huh? But I will approve thee and set them in order before thine eyes. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We we were proving this place. You know? Okay. Can we got something? Yeah, no. go ahead. The twenty-second verse. Now consider this, ye that forget the most high, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to be delivered. Right, that that's uh okay. that's pretty much Okay point right there. But now what I... The second edge is 50. Yeah, but what I want you to do is, I'm sorry, go back to Psalm 50 uh -huh. and read the part about uh... Yeah, because uh, like the brother was saying, it's real heavy, man. What we're doing right now is going down in history. 
So, how would you want to be remembered in history? Because a lot of this man, his books are going to be written. So, how you want to be remembered as that slacker, that the, the last one to count, the first to leave, or you want to have you want to have a strong, you know, uh, uh, memory, uh, a strong remembrance of right a memorial. Of, of what you did in these last days. Yeah. How do you want to go down in history? Because this is it. Like they say, live each day like it's the last. Well, we are in the last days, man. You still you, yeah. you still got cats that want to half-ass in this truth, man. And this is history being made, man. You know, the niggas that bullshitted on them battlefields back in the day, they names didn't go down in history. Yeah. They were the one who got slayed on the battlefield. But the men that gave diligence, you know, like like your Caesars, uh, when fuck Caesar, uh, Hannibal, 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 uh, Hannibal, uh, uh well, yeah, uh, him and the daddy, daddy. Hamilton uh, and him, Hannibal, God, you know, Hannibal, you have the Maccabees. Look at the mighty acts of the Maccabees, you know. They gon' they gonna be remembered even into the kingdom. Yeah, cause they back, they you back, know? you know, uh, the men back. You know? But they took a stand. They took a stand and they was diligent. You know, they wasn't whining and complaining and crying and murmuring and bullshit. You know what he said that uh it's Russell Crowe playing Maximus, which really there was no Maximus in the history. But yeah, September it really would have been September Severus. But uh not to go into that. He said, what you do to, to, uh, today on the battlefield will echo in eternity. Uh -huh. That's what he said. 